Hi, I'm J.L. Verton, and I'm the coordinator of the first year seminar here at Doan University, and I want to talk to you about one of the courses that you're going to take as soon as you arrive here on campus. At Doan, our first year seminar is also known as LAR 101. It's going to be a course in which you learn how to develop college level reading, writing, and discussion techniques, but you're going to do it around interdisciplinary topics. Each first year seminar student at Doan will read the same common book. You'll be reading this over the course of the first three weeks of the semester, so you'll be having conversations both with your classmates as well as people outside of class. You're going to be developing critical thinking skills. These skills are going to be done in a hands-on and in a collaborative way. We will be taking class time to be developing these skills as opposed to just assigning you outside of class. You're going to be enhancing your soft skills. Skills such as your self-awareness, your resilience, and your empathy. These skills as well as 12 others are going to be emphasized throughout the course of your first year seminar. Also, your LAR 101 professor is going to be your advisor. In fact, coach might be a better term. They're going to be working on these same soft skills I just mentioned and coaching you as to how you can leverage those skills to make you the type of leader that you want to be. So let's go ahead and talk to some of the people that you're going to interact with once you arrive here at Doan. Hi, I'm Abby Vollmer. I am the director of the Hands-On Leadership Program and also the coordinator of all orientation programs here at Doan University. The Liberal Arts um, Seminar Experience is a fabulous opportunity for our incoming first-year students and it's very closely tied with our orientation programs. We build our orientation groups um, using the Liberal Arts Seminar classes that you sign up for. So we put you in groups from day one after you move into campus with basically the people that will be your first classmates. Um, we want you to begin to build a relationship with them and build community with them through the orientation activities that are planned before classes start. So that way when you step foot in your liberal arts seminar classroom, um, you already have kind of those first day of classes jitters out and you can begin to, to really have some great academic conversations um, in the classroom in your seminar experience. The other cool thing that we do is we um, have your group leaders be key people um, that will be with you through your first year experience. Um, we put you in groups with two leaders. One is an orientation leader staff and the other is a peer assistant. That peer assistant is the point person that you will have in the classroom that is a current upper class student who can help advise you through not only the liberal arts seminar class, but also through just academic concerns, transition concerns, any, any kind of questions or concerns that come up during your first year experience. We want you to connect with them, begin to ask questions, and um, see them as, as a great resource and mentor um, for your time here at Dome. Now that we've talked to Abby, let's go find a couple of students and get their take on LAR 101. Uh, coming into college, uh, just like I'm sure all of you, I didn't really know what an LAR was, uh, but it honestly ended up being one of the best classes I've ever taken. Uh, it, do, it really does two things to help you through uh, college. First of all, it's just your first weekend here when you have a lot of different questions about where things are, what to do. It gives you like a group of peers to kind of help you get through that, along with your uh, orientation leader and peer assistant and your professor as well. They can answer pretty much any question you have about college. Um, and then throughout the year, it really helps you just broaden your knowledge. Uh, since most classes are outside of your major, uh, you're learning something you normally wouldn't get a chance to learn. And I mean, they have speakers and books and different readings and everything to just kind of help you get through college. I remember my one of my favorite experiences from the first year LAR was the like the memories and the bonds that you make with the people in that class because those people are with you from the beginning of orientation all the way through the end of the semester and then those friendships carry on throughout the four years here at Doan. Um, on the other side of it as a PA my favorite part of it was seeing the bonds um, happen and also being the resource for the first years and just being that person that can help guide them when they don't really know what's happening just because I've been here longer. Now let's go talk to one of our computer science professors who teaches LAR 101. Hey Alec. Hey JL, what's up? Hey, can you give our viewers uh, a sense of what LAR you teach? Sure. Uh, the one that I teach is called A Human Rights Journey. Um, it's all about exploring human rights issues and human wrongs that are occurring in the world. Cool. What are some of the things that you do in there? 
Um, we do a lot of things. We, we start with a, a few weeks of just building some foundations and ethics and philosophic belief systems and such. Then we really build on that and just do some pretty neat things. One of them is uh, we actually create a, an art gallery. And so we read a book, it's called Little B, and it has a lot of human rights issues in it. And we explore human rights through the uh, Little B book, but in terms of students creating their own works of art and then giving us their artistic statements and, and we explore it that way. So that's one of, one of a really uh, neat type of activities that students really seem to enjoy and they get a lot out of. I can see that. Uh, so do you give a final exam in this course? No, no. Our course, actually the whole culmination of the course is what we call a symposium. And students in small groups will pick a human rights issue that they really want to explore and learn more about inquiry, which is the whole basis of LAR 101 is inquiry. And they'll do their research and they put together a bunch of activities. Uh, some of them are panel presentations, so there might be some more artistic statements. Um, and then they present that to the class. And then we eventually work with another LAR class and do a whole symposium for the entire Dome community and, and actually the Creek community. We invite people from the outside. And so that is the culmination, that's the final work that they do in the LAR. Sounds a lot better than a final exam. Without a doubt. That's just one example of any of the 15 different sections that you get to choose in your LAR 101. Oh great, Rhonda's in her office. Let's go check in with her. Come on in. Hi hey, Rhonda, Jennifer. how are you? I'm good. What's your role here on campus? Oh, I love my job. I help all first year students along with their LAR faculty advisor and I ask them how they're doing in their classes. I help students uh, go to different resources on campus. We talk about scheduling and the classes and registration. And I also help students explore the different possibilities of majors and minors on campus they might be interested in. Oh, I have this great event called Pathways Majors Fair. It's held in the fall in October and that's where students can meet all the different faculty on campus and find out one-on-one -on -one, in person what the majors and minors are like. Awesome. What are you working on right now? Uh, right now I'm working on the LAR labs and this is a, a, a lab that is connected to the LAR course and there's five different components to the lab. So they're going to learn a little bit more about college study skills which is so different than maybe what they did in high school and they'll meet the College Career Center directors and also learn how to register for classes and talk to their peers. So it's a great, great supplement to the LAR class. Cool. Anything else you want the students to know? Just that I'm open all week long, that they can find me from 8.30 to 5.30 and ask me any question that they want. So it's really an open door where they can just drop in. Thanks, Rhonda. Yeah, thank you. LAR is one of the most important classes you can take your freshman year. The classes challenge you to think critically about situations that you would have never thought about outside of that classroom. Um, personally, my freshman year, my LAR 101 was with Dr. Nathaniel Erickson. Um, in the class, we analyzed the book Persepolis, and we looked at um, Muslim culture during the time of the Iranian Revolution, and a applied it to how we treat um, Muslim culture in the present day and age. The class itself forced me to think outside of the box I had always been thinking in for the previous 18 years and uh, forced me to analyze what way does society treat Islam? Um, how, can we make, how can we better the way we uh, communicate between these two um, cultures? The class itself forces you to think differently than you ever have before. That's why it's important. So, when you're in LAR, take advantage of the moment. Raise your hand, talk, ask questions, don't be scared, because that is where most of the real learning will happen. Your freshman year is right there in LAR.